This is Johnny, a typical student at York College. He is currently studying television and film production. However, there is one difference. Johnny is a LARPer. LARP is an abbreviation for live action role play. This is when everyday people become part of a fantasy world and make it a reality. Johnny's character is known as Varian Ballarant, a human warrior from Amno Lantia. We are taking Johnny to a LARP event in South Yorkshire to meet a new group of LARPers. We are going to follow him to get an insight on what the world of LARPing is all about. After arriving in Sheffield, we met the Quest LARP group who are preparing for the battle ahead. There is a lot of preparation involved before starting the adventure. To start off the preparation process, the group is split into two, the monsters and the heroes. Get into costume and then the heroes sit down with the referee and discuss the abilities available for each character to use throughout the adventure and the amount of life points they have which can be influenced by the armour and accessories used. The monsters are in a separate room and are being briefed on the events that will take place during tonight's battle. After all the briefing is finished, the monsters proceed outside to set up the battlefields for the oncoming adventure. Meanwhile, back at the parish hall, some of the heroes are practicing for battle. Despite the harsh weather conditions, Sean is showing newcomer Aiden the rules and techniques needed for the battle. They are focusing on the basics for sword fighting and archery. You remember the basics, when you hit someone, Right, pull off. pull off. So, basic fighting techniques. As a shield user, you want the shield as far in front as you can get. Because, for example, if I'm going to go at you, yeah, you get it like that. Now, if you hold it right at you, hold it right here. Right. So, there's several fighting techniques that you can go for. As a sword and shield user, you're essentially wanting to get in, get close enough so that you can block. I can't hit you but you wait for an opening, so if I go like that, you've got me, etc, etc. We followed the group outside and spent the next four and a half hours documenting the adventure. The Quest Lab group didn't let the extreme temperatures and weather stop them from carrying on with their event. If anything, it spurred them on as it created a more atmospheric surrounding. Despite not knowing the group for more than a few hours, Johnny was definitely in his element, even if his confidence did outshine his character at times. Back off! I am a rector of Mandos! Who the f are you? And what's this? We're, uh... Are you undead? No! Well, what's this? The members from the monster group took on a number of characters in order to set the scene and add to the storyline. No matter what characters the monsters took on, the heroes always took it in their stride. Are you the champion I bow of the down. bridge? I bow down. You are absolutely magnificent. I you may kiss I my shield. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Honestly. Mwah. That is brilliant. How are you today? Now sir? you see, lads, that's how to act. Yeah, that's how a that. peasant should act. That is a mighty fine Give these a polished boy. As the event continued, the heroes were faced with an array of different monsters and challenges to come, resulting in many deaths and battles. The adventure carried on for many more hours until early morning, but due to extreme temperatures, we hit a problem. One by one, each camera eventually gave in to the cold and stopped working. By the end of the night, we were cameraless, so we were forced to head back earlier than we hoped, only to find our car had also lost the battle with the cold weather. After the events of last night, Sean was kind enough to drive us back to the hotel in which we were staying and pick us up again the following day. They spent the majority of the morning getting ready for the next adventure. Today they started a new adventure and each group switched character roles in order for each person to get a taste of the different roles available. Even in the fantasy world, they never fail to be considerate towards other members of the community. Even if a non-LARPer comes through the area in which the adventure is taking place, a member of the LARPing group alerts the rest of the players by shouting normal therefore stopping the events from carrying on for the safety of the member of public. 
Uh, Time out. Normal coming through. Normal. Normal. Uh, so we move out the way. After spending a weekend with the Quest Lab group, we got to experience a new pastime and meet some interesting and friendly new people, therefore changing our views on both LARPing and the people who take part in this hobby. We are very grateful for their participation in this documentary and for their hospitality towards both Johnny and the crew involved in filming.